Hey, today is a great time for Zoom users. And yes, although it says I'm on mute, I know that you can hear me because I am on YouTube and I have something really exciting to show you. We can now format chat messages. We can add headings, we can make text bold, we can change the color, highlight things, bullet points, lists, quotes, adding links, a lot of things we can now do in the Zoom meeting chat, including deleting a message. How great is that? Let's jump right in and I'll show you exactly how to enable this feature, how it works. Uh, first of all, if you have not yet added this to your settings, let's jump into the, uh, the website here real quick. In the Zoom settings, use the search box on the top and just type in chat, which will right away send you to this part. This is what we're looking for, the new meeting chat experience. Allow meeting participants to use new meeting chat features, including threaded replies, text formatting, quoting, and inline image preview. Additional features can be configured below. All right, let's turn it on. Um, allow participants to delete messages. Yes, I have that enabled. As you can see, um, when you have this enabled, participants can delete their own messages. And this is the fun part if you're hosting anything with a large audience uh, events, hosts and co-hosts can also delete messages. This is great when people post things that might be um, not following your meeting guidelines. And then we can also enable screenshot feature. I have not tried this yet, um, but when this is enabled, participants can send screenshots during the meeting. All right, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this, definitely gonna be excited about the chat feature. So let's jump back into Zoom and I'll show you what that does. Um, Hold on, let me make one of myself disappear. So uh, let's turn on the chat. And um, as you can see on the top here, I've already tested this and I've deleted a couple of messages. I'll zoom in a little bit closer on the chat and let's start creating and formatting our own new message. Okay, so here we are. The text field looks like pretty normal but there is this one new button, the format button. If I click this, I get this whole nice little menu bar on the top with all of the different options of what I can do. So let's start with a regular paragraph. Paragraph. And I'm gonna hit send on that. That just shows up as a regular chat message, but let's do a heading next. Let's make this a heading. All right, gonna highlight this. Um, we can go to headings, make this heading one. We can uh, then go back to paragraph, add a bullet point. We can make the next bullet point. Maybe we'll highlight that with a different color, let's say in green. Um, what else could we do? We can bold, italic, underline, strike through. Um, I, yeah, I am not that good at spelling quickly. Uh, let's clear that color. And I don't think I need to explain this very much to you. I'm sure you've all used different tools like this before. Um, the other cool thing, I'm gonna send this and later we're gonna have a look at what they look like in the chat. The other cool thing is, hey, this is a quote. The quote is hidden under this more. We can add a quote, which now shows up like this. And let's actually jump back into Zoom and you can see on the side here what all of those messages look like, right? So we do have some formatting, which I think is great if you are sharing instructions for activities for your Zoom participants in the chat. Just makes it so much easier for them to find it, for it to stand out between the other text. Of course, everyone has that feature. All the participants can format their 
text their chat messages as well. So we need to make sure that we set some guidelines around that not being misused. But I think this is a really great step forward in making chat much a uh, much better tool in Zoom. And I've heard that and at Zoomtopia at the conference that they had this week, they're planning to add a lot more chat features in the future. I would love to be able to react, like give a thumbs up to a chat message right now. The only thing is I can copy, I can quote, I can delete. So if I wanted to delete my quote, it will actually ask me to confirm. This action cannot be undone. Delete. But I can also quote somebody else's message, which will just actually put the whole uh, message that they wrote into these quote marks. And then I can say, um, I agree. I can also see the other thing that has changed. If you hit enter, it's not actually sending it right away anymore, which needs some time getting used to because usually I would say send a chat message, hit enter and it would go. But as you can see um, over here, uh, it now just creates a new paragraph, which is also awesome because sometimes I wanted to add a couple of paragraphs in my message and it will always send it way too early. So um, checking command, no, shift, no. Control, okay, control enter gets the message actually sent out quicker. There we go. We learned something new here together. If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe because I love talking about how to use tools like these over here um, to create more engagement and deepen the connections between participants on Zoom and uh, also in hybrid meetings, which by the way, I have a hybrid masterclass coming up next week. If you're watching this, on November 11th. This uh, masterclass is happening November 14 and 15. Hopefully I will see you there. All right. Bye.